Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to post a reel on Facebook step by step. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Facebook app. Then you will head to the top where you see the plus sign. You want to click on the plus sign and you will have four different options. You will have the option to create a post, a story, a reel or to go live. Let's click on the reel option. Now let's select what we want to actually upload. I chose this particular image over here. Now there is a couple of different settings on the right side which you can actually utilize. The first option of course is to select a music to add to your reel. The pro tip will over here be that if you want to add music, you want to lower down the original audio. If you had a voiceover, you can actually add it over here or you can record your own voiceover, saving the second option. The music works very simply if you go on the uh, add music section, you will see that the selection of the music is not so good. I don't know what is the reason for and why you have much more music to add and much more popular songs to add while creating reels on the actual Instagram platform. So I wouldn't get crazy about the music available over here. I don't know why, but if you want to add music, this is how we can go about it. Also, you can add text. You can tag someone. You can change the text color. You can change the the way how the text appear centered, uh, right centered, left centered. As well, you can actually add effects. I don't know if you play with this. Again, nothing crazy. I would say uh, more like a vintage look, nothing like special. If you do have a voiceover, the next option with the captions will be very helpful. This will increase the engagement and people will have uh, much more fun, you know, watching your videos. And last but not least, you guys can actually save the video prior to publishing. A lot of people creating content here, for example, you edit the video, you download it, and then you publish it elsewhere. For example, Twitter or TikTok. So you, this is something else that uh, I hope you understand and you can be aware of. And again, that's the final step where we are going to publish. We're going to create the metadata. We're going to put our title, hashtags, uh, you know, a couple of sentences, simply to explain what is the video about, or what is the photo about, you know, so it will help the Facebook algorithm to essentially uh, put up the video in front of the right audience. And the last pro tip I'm going to give you is that you can actually niche down and boost uh, and target your own audience simply by clicking on add topics over here. This is where you can actually pre-select you know, what is the general uh, topic or segment or niche of your content. This will give you additional boost. First thing first, this is the whole program. This is the new landing page from Facebook. Here you will get information about the new in-stream ads from Facebook. Let's click on the requirements and see how you can get qualified for. So in order to use the new ad system into your videos, you need to be at least 18 years old, okay? And live in the country eligible for in-stream ads. Let's go over the country list. So. This is in-stream ads that are available in these countries. So all these countries, as you can see over here, guys, are actually falling under this new update. So if your country is one of these, you will be able to actually monetize and put ads into your videos. It will be similar as the one that we're seeing on uh, YouTube, similar as the one that we're seeing in TikTok creativity program beta. Okay, the second requirement over here will be that you should have minimum of 5,000 followers. So your page on Facebook where you're actually publishing your reels should have at least 5,000 followers and you should be at least 18 years old in your country where the page is, is registered, right? So I'm not sure that you can actually register a page from different country aside from the country that you're currently residing. Probably you can if you're using a VPN. Not quite sure about this though. You should advise with someone. But as you can see over here, the next eligibility requirement is that you should have 60,000 total minutes viewed in the last 60 days. 
So they're doing this simply to prevent bots monetize the content. Okay, they have a similar requirement for other uh, programs. Remember, you should be active for the last 30 days in TikTok creativity program beta aside from the 10,000 followers. So here, they don't include minutes viewed from cross posted, boosted or paid watch time. Meaning if you publish something and then you share the same exact thing elsewhere, for example, on Twitter and they they see the traffic is coming from third party website, they don't care. You know, Meta is very, very strict with monetization. They are cutting monetization left and right. Remember there was a bonus program last year on Christmas. If you just publish three videos, they're going to give you like a hundred hours. I got a hundred hours, but then the program was like cut it. Uh, so they are very, very strict. They want to make sure that they're paying only people who are using their platform and their platform only. I know they don't care about other social media cross posting. The next requirement is that your page on Facebook has to have at least five active videos, which kind of easy. Uh, you know, if you're having 5,000 followers, you most likely have more than five active videos. And also the videos can be on demand or previously live, but this does not include active cross posted videos. Again, you want to make sure that you really follow the rules. You're not going to cut corners with Facebook, obviously. The next eligibility requirement for live videos. So if you're a live streamer, right, if you stream videos, your main target of the eligibility criteria and play ads on your own live streams will be over here. So to qualify for this, you should have at least 10,000 followers on your, Insta, on your Facebook page. Second requirement is to have 6,000 minutes of viewed in the last 60 days. So everything is 10x over here as a requirements. Uh, you should have 600,000 total minutes must include minutes viewed from live videos. So essentially you understand that because you're a live streamer, right? All of your minutes watch time will be coming from live stream. So I believe that you can actually gain this uh, minutes very easy, especially if you're doing long live streams, like three, four, five hours, six hours, some live streams. The last requirement over here is that your uh, Facebook page where you're publishing your reels or where you're doing your live streams, right? Uh, has to have at least five active videos, including at least three previous live videos, okay? That are created by you. This does not include active cross posted videos. So, again, on top of the five regular active videos on your uh, Facebook page, you should have at least three live streams published. So, how much money you could actually make? I believe that's the biggest question over here. So, uh, I read plenty of, of feedback from a lot of people that have been using it so far. So, I'm seeing that some people are making between like three to, to four thousand dollars a month, uh, and this is based on you know, having 50, 60, 70,000 views. And I mean, these people are posting every single day, uh, three to five videos a day. And again, everything that I saw so far is like entertaining. So some of the people are actually making like compilation videos of this, you know, fallouts. Probably have seen these people, you know, falling left and right, these stupid videos compilation on, on Facebook Reels. So this is how you can actually do it. If you are coming from country that is eligible if you have a 5000 followers uh you know if you had you know more than five videos and you have a regular watch time hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to post reels on facebook the process is a little different than instagram but it's very simple let's dive in launch the facebook app first then i want you to click on the top right corner and click on the plus sign you have the option to click Rio. Now let's pick what we want to upload, right? I select this one over here. Now, the difference over here is that the menu that you usually will have when you're publishing Rios on Instagram is quite small and it's positioned on the right side. The options that you have actually are very similar. You have an option to add audio, you can add music. The main difference is that you're able actually to reduce your original audio over here because if you add voiceover or if you add music, you know, you don't want to have all these, uh, you know, audios that are mixing together. So you want to make sure that you reduce your original audio when you add music or voiceover. This is very important. The next step, of course, you want to add text. This is something that 
uh, it's very similar you can make the text bigger and smaller just by moving the sizer on the side right nothing special also you can add a small stickers that look like that looks like a gift right very interesting especially if you if you have like a promotion or a swipe up link it's cool next option is effects uh, i don't find this too 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 crazy too helpful i would say I just find that the quality of these are not so good. Maybe this one looks looks okay because it's kind of vintage, right? Then you also have a stickers. On the sticker, you can actually not only add uh, all these, you know, small celebrations, uh, you know, small notes, but you also have emojis over here underneath. And there's a quick settings on the top where you can actually click emojis. We can click GIFs and you can actually search for the GIF you're looking for. It's very similar to to the actual instagram reels then the last option of course is that you can actually save what you just created some people are just creating the actual content here and they go and they publish the content on uh tiktok they publish it uh, on on uh, twitter right so you can do so by simply clicking save then you press next and here the option is very similar to the ones that usually will have the panel right before publishing uh, the main difference over here i'm gonna share with you is that first of all you can actually opt in for monetization as you can see here earn money and you will be rewarded by people tipping you and giving you stars and also you will see a small folder next to the post right you probably wonder is this where we can actually schedule the post same thing that we usually have on instagram right that's not the case uh, here you can actually save the video as a draft and the video will stay here for up to 60 days meaning that when you, when you click save as a draft you will simply have this video somewhere stored you don't have a particular folder like you have uh, on on instagram right or on tiktok so then every time when you go and try to publish new picture or video facebook will send you a reminder and will tell you that you know what you, you still have this uh, you know reel that you didn't publish do you want to publish it right now and this is how you publish reels on facebook guys i understand it's quite similar but it's also quite different uh, i don't publish much reels on facebook i prefer to do it on 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 the instagram simply because the algorithm works better over there and i believe the the transition and the functions are much better for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to download facebook reels for free let's launch the facebook app and pick up a reel okay let's click on the reels okay let's let's download this reel over here you want to click on the arrow that is on the lower right corner share right and then i want you to copy the link after we copy the link, I want you to head towards Chrome. Okay, guys, I want you to find this app. It's called snapsafe.app. You come over here and you want to paste your link. Okay. And the app will simply process the video and will give you an option to download the video. As you can see, we have plenty of different options of qualities. Uh, just pick your option be careful where you're clicking of course as usual not as many ads as in the other apps uh, platforms but this is how you can download facebook reels for free guys for more tips and tricks subscribe and come back for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you first of all how to create a reel on facebook save it as a draft and then how to find this draft so you can publish it later on so let's dive in First, let's launch the Facebook app. You want to click on the plus sign on the top right corner. From the pop-up menu, you want to select Rio. Then you want to select what you want to publish. We want to publish this particular thumbnail over here. After finish with editing on this small settings menu on the right, you want to click next. And right before publishing, there is a small folder button next to the post button. 
you want to click on the small folder over here and you will have two options you either gonna save it as draft and it will be saved for 60 days period and then it will be removed or you want to download let's click saved as draft okay then you want to go back you want to go back you want to go back and now when we again hit the plus sign and start creating a brand new reel right we are going to scroll the top menu and you will find the draft over here you see the small notification you want to click on the drafts and you want to find the one that we just saved you want to click on it and simple you can proceed with next and you can proceed with publish very simple very easy for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm gonna go through different monetization updates from facebook so you'll be able to play ads on your reels on facebook so you'll be able to make a lot of money let's go over the requirements and the eligibility criteria over here first thing first this is the whole program this is the new landing page from facebook here you will get information about the new in-stream ads from facebook let's click on the requirements and see how you can get qualified for so in order to use the new ad system into your videos you need to be at least 18 years old okay and live in the country eligible for in-stream ads let's go over the country list so this is in-stream ads that are available in these countries so all these countries as you can see over here guys are actually falling under this new update so if your country is one of these you will be able to actually monetize and put ads into your videos it will be similar as the one that we're seeing on uh, youtube similar as the one that we're seeing in tiktok creativity program beta okay the second requirement over here will be that you should have minimum of 5000 followers so your page on facebook where you actually publishing your reels should have at least 5000 followers and you should be at least 18 years old and your country where the page is is registered right so i'm not sure that you can actually register a page from different country aside from the country that you're currently residing probably you can if you are using a vpn not quite sure about this though you should advise with someone but as you can see over here the next eligibility requirement is that you should have 60,000 total minutes viewed in the last 60 days so they're doing this simply to prevent bots monetize the content okay they have a similar requirement for other uh, programs remember you should be active for the last 30 days in tiktok creativity program better aside from the 10,000 followers so here they don't include minutes viewed from cross-posted boosted or paid watch time meaning if you publish something and then you share the same exact thing elsewhere for example on twitter and they they see the traffic is coming from third party website they don't care you know meta is very very strict with monetization they are cutting monetization left and right remember there was a bonus program last year on christmas if you just publish three videos they're gonna give you like a hundred hours I got a hundred hours, but then the program was like cut it. Uh, so they're very, very strict. They want to make sure that they're paying only people who are using their platform and their platform only. I know they don't care about other social media cross posting. The next requirement is that your page on Facebook has to have at least five active videos, which kind of easy. Uh, you know, if you're having 5,000 followers, you most likely have more than five active videos. And also the videos can be on demand or previously live, but this does not include active cross-posted videos. Again, you want to make sure that you really follow the rules. You're not going to cut corners with Facebook, obviously. The next eligibility requirement for live videos. So if you're a live streamer, right, if you stream videos, your main target of the eligibility criteria and play ads on your own live streams will be over here. So to qualify for this, you should have at least 10,000 followers on your Insta, on your Facebook page. Second requirement is to have 6,000 minutes of viewed in the last 60 days. So everything is 10x over here as a requirements. Uh, you should have 600,000 total minutes must include minutes viewed from live videos. So essentially you understand that 
because your live stream, all right, all of your minutes watch time will be coming from live stream. So I believe that you can actually gain this uh, minutes very easy, especially if you're doing long live streams, like three, four, five hours, six hours, some live streams. The last requirement over here is that your uh, Facebook page where you're publishing your reels or where you're doing your live streams, right? Uh, has to have at least five active videos, including at least three previous live videos, okay? That are created by you. This does not include active cross-posted videos. So again, on top of the five regular active videos on your uh, Facebook page, you should have at least three live streams published. So how much money you could actually make? I believe that's the biggest question over here. So uh, I read plenty of, of feedback from a lot of people that have been using it so far. So I'm seeing that some people are making between like three to, to four thousand dollars a month. Uh, and this is based on, you know, having 50, 60, 70 thousand views. And I mean, these people are posting every single day, uh, three to five videos a day. And again, everything that I saw so far is like entertaining. So some of the people are actually making like compilation videos of this, you know, fallouts. Probably have seen these people, you know, falling left and right these stupid videos compilation on, on Facebook Reels. So this is how you can actually do it. If you are coming from a country that is eligible, if you have a 5,000 followers, uh, you know, if you had, you know, more than five videos and you have a regular watch time, well, I believe you can actually qualify and play ads on your videos. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create Instagram Reels on Canva app using your phone. Very easy guys, very simple. So the first thing you want to come over here guys, you want to click on social media on the upper settings. Then you essentially, you want to scroll down, and you want to click on Instagram and then you want to scroll slowly to the Instagram Reels over here. Now I want you to click sell. Now I want you to click CO. What you want to do right now is that you want to filter all the results by simply pushing up. Now we're going to click on style. In our case, we're going to create a very interesting, let's cue it professional or creative. Let's, let's set as a creative mode. Then we're going to slide on the side and we're going to choose our theme which in this particular case could be essentially anything. In our case, we're going to use the party theme, okay? This is how simple it is. Sometimes it works a little slow, so you gotta be patient. Then you're gonna filter by price. You wanna use only the free templates, which will allow you to expand and excel more using your budget for other purposes. So let's select this. <clears throat> video over here. This is how you're going to create the reels. If you click play, you will see how everything will be matching to itself. If you go back, you will see that every element that you click on is customizable. This is very good and very important because you know and you realize that you can adjust everything. For example, all these flowers on the side, you can essentially scroll through the menu over here and you can change them, okay? You can make them darker. Uh, you can use completely different font. You can make them warmer over here on the side. Everything could be adjusted. Everything could simply be edited, which is mind blowing. As you can see also over here, you can change the actual color and the font by simply clicking fonts. If you can see over here, we can change the font, make it much more easier for people to read while they're watching the videos, right? You realize that especially if you copying and pasting quotes like a lot of people are doing. They're simply pasting a quote. And essentially the background matters a lot. Small letters, small fonts are not something that you want to go after. This is why putting a different effects on the actual theme, it's very important. Like simply adjusting the lining and creating a brush tool, which will help you on the following face using the magic edit tool, right? It's simply very, very interesting, considering that a lot of people don't know that. Other people are not aware that this is uh, something as an option that exists. Also, you can resize it, right? You can make it larger, you can move it around. Or if you don't like it, you can essentially click it and we can just remove it. Same like this text over here. 
For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more.